here's the video on the Mavic 4 Pro with active track out in the field. Now I'm going to press the focus track button on the left hand side and it turns to orange and that's enabled and you see the target on me. Now I've pressed that target and these three are your alternatives and the spotlight, the middle one, is the default. So we're going to hit that and look at that first. Spotlight is like having the drone in the sky on a tripod. Now as I'm walking around the drone is tracking me and following me and turning. Now by using the sticks I can move the drone around in spotlight mode. I've just pushed the left stick up to push it up. I'm now pulling the right stick down to pull the drone away from me. And I can move the drone around. I'm now moving it to the my left using the controls and it's tracking me as a person. You can see that person at the bottom in green. To stop the tracking I can press the stop button on the screen or I can use the pause button on the controller. I'm now going to press the point of interest button on the screen and this is setting the point of interest up. And you can see there's the slider which I'm going to try and pull now. It's a little bit fiddly so I'll pull it to the right about a third of the way and that's the speed that the drone is going to go round me in a circle. And as I walk the circle follows me. The radius of the circle stays the same and it'll keep going round me as I stand here until I stop it. If I move the drone will come with me and the circle radius will stay the same and it'll carry on going around me. Unlike quick shots this goes round me until I stop it. It just doesn't go around me one circle. I can actually move this circle up and down and away from me if I want to. So there's I'm pushing the left stick up. Now I'm going to pull the right stick down and pull it away. Then I'm pulling it back down again. I can change the height of this circle. I can change the radius of the circle by using the sticks on the controller. And that's what I'm doing now. And now I'm going to press stop to stop the point of interest. I'm now going to click on active track. And then the little man in the corner comes up. I need to press on him. It then shows the diagram of the inner and outer circle. And when I click on the inner or outer circle, the drone will fly to that location. The outer circle is 10 meters, the inner circle is 5 meters. So I've now pressed on it to the left side and the drone is flying round me 10 meters away. I now click on the inner circle and it comes into 5 meters away from me. And I can vary the position of the drone around me by pressing on the button. Now if I press the auto button and the blue light comes up now, now the drone will fly and find its own route around me as I walk forward. So as I move now, you'll see the drone has decided it's going to come inwards or it's gone back out again now and it's going to track me from that slightly side-on position. As I walk along, it's in auto and it's tracking me and it does a pretty good job of tracking me. It's now changed to the inner circle so it's coming to five meters. As I walk back it's now to my side again. And this is all done on auto. I'll now press the pause button on the controller to finish the active track and go back to the default of Spotlight. If you enjoyed this video then subscribe to the channel or watch the next video in the playlist or the new videos that we've just recently downloaded.